Hey guys, hey Leos, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D and thank you for stopping by my channel again. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing and please continue to subscribe and hit that notification bell after you hit that subscription button so you don't miss any time I upload. Now guys, thanks to Almighty God for always bringing us here safe and sound so we can be together once again. Let's jump into your message. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, Leo. Let's jump in. Let's see what's going on. And please remember that this could either be the masculine energy that I'll be picking up on or the feminine energy. It could go either ways and you could have Leo anywhere in your chart or you could just be dealing with a Leo. Cross watching, right? So let's go. Let's see what's going on. Because I was pre-shuffling, guys, and I'm just getting a whole heap of cards just keep falling out all the time. Every time a card comes out, it's a whole bunch. It's a whole bunch. And I'm getting the two of cups. So let's see what's going on for you. They have a lot to say. What's going on for these Leos, please? What's happening for these Leos? The king of wands. Oh, there's another one behind. The fool. Yeah. The fool. That's my Christmas setup, guys. I hope you like my Christmas setup. <laughs> I'll turn it on. I'll turn the lights on later on in the general reading. <laughs> Anyways, Leos, you may be dealing with an air sign here or a fire oh, sign. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, sorry about that, Miss, Mr. and Miss Leos. You know, <laughs> my dad called. All right, guys. So, anyways, let's get back to your message. Leos, listen. This is a big, big deal right here. Your person, this fool, they're taking that leap of faith. This person is overcoming challenges. This person is breaking free. This person is looking forward to a brand new beginning. You know why? Because this king here, they're overcoming their challenges. They're breaking free. Whatever challenge they were going through, whatever it is that they were facing, they're breaking free and they're ready for that brand new beginning. They're ready for a new start. What else is going on for these Leos? They're ready for a new start. And this is in regards to something that they're passionate about. Something that they're passionate about. Something that they can't wait to get to this person is now being fearless this person has overcome their insecurities because you have the knight and the king here this mask that they have on this armor they were hiding insecure not wanting to reveal their true self but they're going through changes that's taking them to the king. See, they're, they're moving through the stages. Moving through the stages. Running away. Hiding. To seeing everything clearly. Stripping that guard that they have up. And taking that leap of faith. Moving forward. They have received a second chance and they're ready for a second chance. They have been reborn. Leo, that's awesome. That's awesome. Five of Cups and Three of Cups, they are getting out of that energy that has been holding them down, that has been keeping them stuck. And they're ready for this reunion. They're ready to celebrate. This person, oh my, I was just going to say this person is happy. Look at this energy here. This person is totally in bliss here. This person, and what Leo, this is you. This is you, this is your energy. So somebody here is totally happy. 
because they're overcoming their challenges. They're breaking free and they're ready to move forward to a brand new beginning. Yeah, putting those things to an end that no longer serves them. Getting rid of them. Putting an end to all those challenges. Now they're doing them, completing cycles, 10-10. It's time for a brand new beginning. New doors are opening. This person is seeing their abundance. This person is seeing that they can give because before they couldn't. They couldn't give equally before because they were so insecure. I'm seeing 444, four, four, guys. They're heading towards their abundance. Your person is seeing the bigger picture. Your person is gaining mental clarity. They now know that they have everything that they need to move forward. And they're going to take that leap of faith. They're manifesting their heart's desires. Creating what it is that they need. Instead of sitting back and watching it pass them by. Now let's see what this fool is up to. <laughs> what is this fool up to please? <laughs> what's going on here yeah this person has done some deep diving here they have done some searching soul searching I'm getting this person is very intelligent. It's a very intelligent, intelligent individual. And this person did some research and they were enlightened. They were enlightened. They were put on the right path. They were put on the right path and now they're determined to return. They're determined to get what it is that's theirs. Tell me about this King of Wands, please. Breaking free from the sadness. Your person is now seen beyond, beyond the hurt, beyond the pain, beyond, beyond sadness. They were trapped, they were being held back, and they realized that they were the ones that were keeping themselves trapped. 4, 4, 4, and 44. They're now on the right path. They know where they're going. They know where they're headed. And they're coming in with an offer. Coming in to make somebody happy. They're completing cycles. Like I said before, 1010, right? Completing cycles. This person is elevating to the emperor energy. Maybe dealing with an Aries here. This person is completing cycles. Could be an earth sign with the words. Tell me about this type of cups and whites in the reverse here, please. Yeah, boy. That's because, look at this. They're feeling prosperous. They're feeling happy. They're seeing their abundance. They know where their abundance lies. They're working on themselves. They're working on their happiness. They're completing cycles. It's like they're going through stages. Like every day they, they, they elevate to a new level. And right now they're fulfilling themselves. Doing what's best for them. Nine, nine. This person is paying attention. They're receiving signs. And they're paying attention. This person is praying. This person is going through fear and changes and they're healing all of that this person is ready to open up their heart this person is ready for things to grow and bloom and blossom between them and whomever it is that they're looking forward to Care about the three of cups yep confusion confusion they were stressed out. They were hurting. 
but they're healing they're completing those cycles and this cycle that they're completing is going to lead them to this and we already saw that ten of pentacles it's going to lead them to that ten of pentacles and it's ten minutes now so as i said they're going through cycles nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen <laughs> counting down they're going through the cycles. Now they are ready to reap their rewards. Now they are ready to build their brand new beginning. That's what they're looking for. Their happiness. And I think they have found it. They have found it. And this happiness lies with someone that they may have walked away from in the past. They have this person on their mind. They're thinking about you. Or you're thinking about them either way but they're not letting you go those memories will never disappear one 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 and that's why they're rushing in towards you because they have gained mental clarity they have gained understanding they're in control of their dark side of all those negativities the challenges that they have been facing they're in control and they're coming towards you. They're coming towards you, their son, their happiness. Because they're trans transforming. As I said, they're going through the cycles. They're healing. And they're finding union within themselves. And they, they're coming forth for that brand new beginning. They're coming forward for that brand new beginning. And they're happy about it. Thank you. As I said, they're very joyful right now. That's all they're feeling, the happiness. The happiness. They're going to be putting in this hard work to make sure that everything works just right and falls into place. Because they know that now their prosperity is endless. It's endless. Because as I said, they're following these synchronicities that they're seeing, the signs that they're getting from God. They prayed and their prayers were answered. 1221. They're mirroring you. 99. Nine, nine, completing those cycles. This person is overcoming a lot of difficulties right now. Okay, guys. One, two, three. Now I'll be doing the signs individually. So Leo, if you're dealing with an Aries, okay, don't take, let me see what it is. Six of Swords. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, what's going on for these Leos, Leo? Dealing with an Aries. Five of Swords. And before we saw the Six of Swords, right? This person is definitely healing. This person is maintaining their strength fighting for what they believe in this person is like they're about to drop their guard 333 three, three. feeling divinely guided feeling protected they're aligned they're feeling abundant You're feeling like everything here is going to work out just the way that it is supposed to. They're feeling comfortable within themselves. Let's put it that way. They're very much comfortable within their own skin. Because they have someone on their mind that is keeping them calm. The high priestess, as I said, in the general, the collective I should say. You're following signs. This person is following signs. And this sign is leading them to the person that they truly belong with. To their counterpart. This person is healing. And again, the eight of pentacles, putting in that hard work. Putting in that hard work. And rushing in towards you. This person is overcoming challenges. That's what you see. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. Parts of the the collective, 
that's coming out in the individual readings. So you know it's definitely your energies that are being picked up here. Let's see, what's the outcome here for these Leos dealing with the Aries, justice, truth, balance, prosperity, overcoming those challenges, being happy. There you go, Leo. Being happy, moving towards your prosperity. Moving towards your prosperity. So there's a lot of financial abundance that's here for you, Aries, dealing with, with a, a Leo. Or Leo with an Aries, any way you want to look at it. There's a lot of financial gain and prosperity here for you guys. And the Page of Swords, somebody's changing their perspective. Somebody's changing the way that they look at things. And it's bringing them truth, justice, and clarity. Leo is dealing with a Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you. Eight of Cups. Someone may have walked away from you, but look at this. They're coming right back. <laughs> They're coming right back. They can't get you off their mind. They walk away, but they can't get you off their mind. I think that's why they're going to come back here. A lot is being revealed. A lot is being revealed. You have the two of ones in the reverse. This person wasn't able to move. This person wasn't able to plan the way that they wanted to. This person wasn't able to do anything like they wanted to. But I think now things are going to change. Things are going to change. They may be holding back. Listen, the reason this person had walked away from you in the past is because they were fearing that change. That same change that's going to come around anyways. They were fearing change. They were fearing that love that they felt for you. The passion that they had for you. But they're, they're going to get over it. They're going to start to stand in their power. This person may be a father figure. They're going to stand in their power. They're going to drop that burden. They're letting it go, the fear, and stand in their power. Woo, yes. Standing in their power, making the right choice. Making the right choice. And now their eyes is on you. Their eyes is on this love that makes them feel so abundant, so cherished, so beautiful. Their emotion is just swimming. Their emotion is swimming. <laughs> They're swimming in their emotions. <laughs> And they are also happy. They're feeling victorious. They're feeling this happiness, man. Look at that. Look at that. Like I said, whatever they walked away from here, it's coming right back because this is Eight of Cups too. They're coming right back. So they had to go away to make their choices to see where their emotion really lies. There you have it. There you have it right there. They're coming right back. They can't get you off their mind. They can't get you off their mind. They were doubting this connection. They were doubting this connection. But holy crap. But look at this. They're not doubting it anymore. Aries with a Taurus. This is beautiful. They're not doubting it anymore. Because somebody's standing in their power. And that's bringing them what their heart desires. Stand in your power, guys. It will bring you what you need. Standing in your power doesn't mean to be harsh. Standing in your power means you are taking care of yourself. Looking after you. Being the boss lady. Being the boss man. Doing you. Prospering. And knowing that whatever you need, it's coming so you don't have to worry about it. That's what being in your power means. Leo's dealing with a Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take them. The Three of Pentacles. 
somebody's putting in some hard work here somebody may be approached by someone in regards to uh in regards to a contract like signing a contract for work to start a business to get just to get something off the ground something um that you've been working on you have the nine of pentacles here in the reverse and this is about somebody here this is this is what you call not standing in your power because when you have this nine of pentacles in the upright this is someone who is single doing them loving themselves taking care of themselves but you have this person in the reverse Somebody needs to start to focus on themselves. There's somebody here who may be um, spending too much. They may be spending too much and they need to work on their finances. They need to work on saving. Somebody may be spending too much. Just reckless spending for no reason just buying because they can so somebody needs to pay attention to that you have this knight of wands and the knight of pentacles somebody is moving towards stability someone is is allowing their instinct their feelings to move towards their abundance a lot is coming to the surface in regards to their emotion. A lot is coming forward. They have been thinking a lot. They have been confused. They've been, they've just been out of it, having nightmares, can't rest. And that's because there's something that's holding them back. Something that's preventing them from moving towards their abundance. For, I'm getting greatly for, for some of you guys. It's the spending. It's the spending. Somebody's Somebody's attached to, to spending here. An addiction, spending addiction that they need to get rid of so they can move towards their abundance. So they can truly see their abundance because there's an opportunity here for someone to work and build together with someone or even on your own to achieve financial stability. Pay attention to your spending, 22-22. There's love coming towards you. There's love coming towards you, Leo, dealing with a Gemini. What's the outcome here? There's love coming towards you, two, three, four. But this person here needs to show themselves. Needs to reveal their feelings. It's like they're hiding their feelings. Somebody may be receiving bad advice from someone here. It could be in regards to that spending issue. Pay attention to that, please. What else is going on? What can, oh my gosh, the cards are not moving. What are you trying to tell me here with this King of Cups in the reverse? Yeah. As I said, somebody may be getting bad advice. Somebody may be deceiving you to prevent this. Or you're doing it to yourself. Because we did have this King of Cups in the reverse. Like you're blocking off your own heart. Deceiving yourself. Preventing this from happening. Pay attention to your emotions. You need to put an end to something that's holding you back here. Whatever it is. Give me one more please. Look at that. That's so beautiful yeah things are gonna change somebody's gonna elevate here and that's gonna bring forth what they truly desire their hearts desires they're gonna break free from that deception wow there's a love here for you that's like a union one and two who wouldn't want that i want it Okay, guys, Leo dealing with a cancer. Let's see what's going on for you. Leo is dealing with a cancer. What's going on for these Leos dealing with a cancer, please? Oh, 
Oh my Lord, somebody is running from commitment here. Somebody is running from commitment. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord. <laughs> That's big changes that this person is going to have to make. This person is going through a lot. This person needs to work on their insecurities. This person is being held back by things of the past, tradition, the way they were grown, things that they've been told, things that they've been holding on to, addictions. So they need to work on that in order to break free from those enchantments. Yeah, somebody's very insecure. Somebody's also being discouraged. As I said, it could be because of what they are being told, things they have learned in the past, things they are used to, that's causing them to hold on to not being committed, staying by themselves. There's an influence here that's hurting someone. Yeah, they're going to express their emotion. This person is going to walk away from whatever that situation is. See that? They're being hurt. This person is being hurt by whatever that tradition thing is. It could be religious beliefs. It could be their thoughts. Things they have practiced. The way they are used to doing things. What's the outcome here, please? Seven of Pentacles, yeah, they're going to reap their rewards. They're going to reap their rewards because they're going to break free. Right now, they're in this sad energy. And they're going to realize that it's because they are the ones keeping themselves back. That's why they're feeling the way that they are. And they're going to break free. They're going to run away. They're going to break free from that deception. And then they're going to be able to come forward to you. Yeah, they're going to make the right choice, and the choice that they're going to make is what's best for them. This person may be having dreams. This person may be having dreams that's showing them what to do. Psychic powers. Leo's dealing with another Leo. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Leo's dealing with another Leo. Let's see what's going on for you. The Queen of Swords and the Emperor. <laughs> Your person is gaining clarity here. Your person is breaking free from something, someone who has been holding them back. Mental thoughts. This energy of doubt, self-doubt. This energy of not understanding. But this person is taking control. Standing on their two feet. 28, 28. It's 10, 10. They're taking control here. Oh my lord. Sorry about the noise, guys. They're still doing their construction. This may also be a father figure here. But this person is standing in their power. This person is doing them now. Yep. They're doing them. They're seeing the bigger picture. They're not allowing whatever that situation is there to keep them back. They're rushing in, they're rushing forward, they're gaining that clarity. They're rushing in with the truth. This person may still be a little bit guarded, but they're coming in. They're coming in. They're being abundant, they're dropping their guard. Dropping that defense around their heart. And they're working on their stability. Working on their stability, and that's your outcome. Love. Experiencing love, unity, balance, clarity. They're ready for this connection here. 
this balance connection oh, oh my gosh i love it i love it i love it even more oh my god that's beautiful that's beautiful look at that so this person who is stuck in their head allowing these thoughts and the fact that those thoughts make them insecure make them feel low made them feel not good enough once they gain this clarity once they gain that understanding look at what they're headed towards so leo dealing with a leo and here you come this is beautiful you're gonna get the whole package the whole package the wife the stability emotional stability financial stability that home that they desire love being reciprocated they're gonna give it they're gonna receive it in the same amount maybe even more but that's beautiful leos versus leos awesome Leo's dealing with a Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Leo's dealing with a Virgo. Oh, Jesus. Eight of Cups. Okay, my God. I had to pause it. My word. Anyways, this person here is leaving something behind. They're walking away from something. They're walking away from something. Something that they're going to put to an end here with this Ten of Swords. Something that didn't work out. Something that broken up, that got broken up, that made them feel defeated. Maybe a third party situation here that they're walking away from. Look out for some communication, Leo's dealing with a Virgo. Yes, there was a lot of things that was revealed to this person. A lot was revealed to your person. This person is, is being shown where they should be headed, where they should be headed because the situation that they were in, it was broken up, it was done, it was, they felt defeated in it, they felt like they weren't accomplishing anything. And there you go, a lot was revealed. A lot was revealed in this person is going through this healing right now. So whether it's you, Virgo, or Leo, but they're healing. They're gaining spiritual understanding, spiritual guidance. And you know when God steps in, that's when everything starts to change. What's the outcome, please? That's when everything starts to change. Now they can move forward to what it is that they desire because they're seeing the bigger picture here. They're seeing the bigger picture. Now this person is going to commit to whatever it is that they should have committed to in the very first place. 33, 33. My God, that's divine guidance right there. That's balance, internal balance, mind, body, soul. We got in the middle. So this person is ready to commit because they're seeing the bigger picture. They saw the bigger picture because it was revealed to them. It was revealed to them. This person was in a situation that was done, that was dying, and they were holding on. But God intervened, and now they're seeing the bigger picture. And they're ready for that change, rushing forward. You see what a little bit of clarity can give you? See what a little bit of clarity can allow you to accomplish that's why we should always try to have understanding and putting them right back in and putting them right back in leo's dealing with a libra let's see what's going on for you three four 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 
the King of Cups and the King is ready to express their emotions. Your King is ready to speak your truth. <laughs> your person here <laughs> is ready to speak their truth. They're ready for balance. They're in control of their emotions. They're showing themselves compassion and they're gonna extend that, passion, that compassion to you. Look out for communication. As I said, they're ready to speak their truth here. 515. You have the chariot in the reverse. Well, look at this contradictory crap. This man is ready to speak their truth, but look at that. Look at that. They're not moving. Their horse may be tired, stressed out. Maybe they, they got to go to the garage to fix that car before they can move. Oh, jeez. But they know they're going to have victory with you, though. They know they're working towards that victory. They know the victory is going to come. They know they're going to be happy. They just got to get that car fixed. <laughs> they just got to get that car fixed because they know they're going to be happy. They know that everything they want is coming to them because they now have control over their emotions. <laughs> yes, they now have control. They are released a lot of things here. They are no longer feeling trapped. No lo Oh, wow. There you go. They're in love with you. This person with a Virgo, what I mean, with a Leo, you're dealing with this Libra. And you're thinking about this Libra, this Libra is thinking about you. But just know that it's the passion that they have inside for you that's pushing them forward. They are ready, but hey, you gotta give them a chance. They gotta fix that car. Or they gotta stop and feed their horse and give their horse some water or something. So we'll be patient, okay? What's the outcome, please? Wow. Guys, sorry about that. That They had a, a, a fire drill, so they were announcing it. So I had to pause you guys for a while. But you, you, you didn't notice, so let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> so it seems like there's going to be some fast action that's going to be taking place here between you Leos and you, you Libras right now. There's some fast action that's going to be taking place. What's the outcome here, please, for these? There you go. Dropping some burdens. Dropping some burdens. And guys, just as I'm getting, and then I got this card. Pay attention. Pay attention, guys, in regards to fires. Pay attention, please. Somebody's rushing in. Somebody's rushing in towards you. Three of Wands, Four of Wands, somebody is waiting on that perfect time, that perfect moment to come in with that union, to make that offer, to clarify things between you and them. A change. A change is coming your way. Exactly. Pay attention, Libras and Leos. Leos dealing with a Libra, Libra dealing with a Leo. Okay? <laughs> Pay attention. There's a change that's going to happen. Pay attention. It's something important. And please watch out, guys, for fires, like I said. Leo's dealing with a Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. Leo's dealing with a Scorpio. Nine of Cups. Somebody's happy within themselves. Somebody's fulfilling their desires. Somebody is standing in their power. And this is exactly what I talk about when I talk about standing in your power. So you can become that empress, that emperor. Fill your own cups. Do you. Finish your, your, whatever it is that you were trying to do, you were trying to accomplish. Things you need to get done. Your projects, whatever it is. The things that you have been put off, you've been putting off. 
finish them do you okay there you go same thing that i'm saying fulfill your desires love yourself do you remain independent do you work on your abundance work on your stability that's exactly what's happening here and that's beautiful that's going to get you to the empress power wow financial stability i love when these monies pop out and look out for some communication as well so you're working on yourself you're doing your duty in regards to your happiness confusion no more you have mental clarity there's no more confusion <laughs> you're seeing things clearly you're on your right path you're being guided and you're following that guidance four five six what's the outcome please for these leos dealing with this scorpio please the five of cups that regretful energy sad wow you're standing in your power thank you you're standing in your power you're making plans now to move forward you're putting an end to things that are no longer serving you one two three that are no good for you you're putting an end to those things you're you're looking after yourself this is self-love this is okay there you go this is self-love and when you do that Whatever your heart desires will come to you. Will come to you. Your desires are coming to you. All because you're loving yourself. Fulfilling your heart's desires. Working on your projects. Focusing on your abundance. And most importantly, loving you. That's all you have to do, guys. God will take care of everything else. Love you do you because god's children are always prosperous and you can't do that when you're in sorrow leo's dealing with a sagittarius okay so you need to drop that burden as well you need to learn to be independent standing on your own two feet yes you need to complete some cycles here you need to put the work in you need to put some work into making things balance. Exactly. You need to put the work into making some things. Okay. Yes. My God is awesome. Don't worry. Sometimes I say some things and it shocks me too. It shocks me too. But you need to put the work in to make sure that you are balanced. You need to complete cycles here. There's a lot of work that you need to do. With a lot of work that you need to do. What's the outcome here for these Leos dealing with a Sagittarius, please? You're fearing something here. You're fearing change. You're fearing change. You have fear. You have fear and you need to heal that. You're putting something off. You don't want to give up something. It's like you see your abundance. You know you will have abundance. You know you will have love. But you're fearing. Of letting go off of that thing. There's a brand new beginning for you. But you got to let go of something. You got to put the work in. What you want is coming to you, I just heard. But you just got to get yourself, get your mind. Get your mind straight. Stop confusing yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. Because there's a brand new beginning that's awaiting you. There's a brand new beginning that's awaiting you. And you see this brand new beginning. You see it. You're looking at it. 
you're looking at it 444 but you need to let go you need to release it release it release the fear so you can achieve balance I don't, it's, it's, it's like these signs now, they're following each other. Capricorn. Leo dealing with this Capricorn. You're holding on to something here that's preventing you from your happiness. There's also something, it's like you, you're doing both. You're holding on to something that's preventing you from your happiness and you're also holding on to something that you know is your happiness. There's some healing that needs to be done. There's some healing that needs to be done. See that? Your happiness is coming to you. You know that. You know that. But well, you're not working towards it. You're not planning towards it. You're not moving towards it because you're, it's like you holding on to the thing that's not good for you. It's overcoming the thing that you should be committed to. The Page of Cups. There's a surprise that's coming your way or you are going to be given this surprise. But something is coming your way that you're not going to expect. The Page of Cups. A surprise. Something that you're not going to expect. Or whatever is coming to you is not coming in the form that you expect it to. What's the outcome for these Leos dealing with a Capricorn, please? There you go. Of course there is. Something is coming towards you, but you're not going to expect it the way that you want it to. Is that right, what I just said? The way that you want it is not going to come in that way. It's the way that God intended to be. I think that sounds better. It's the way God intended to be. You're here, you're looking, you're waiting for that perfect opportunity. You're waiting on it, but it's coming. It's coming very soon here. It's coming in fast. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. It's coming, but it's not going to come the way that you expect it. So in order to have your victory, in order for you to have what you desire, you have to put some things to a rest so that your happiness can come to you. You have choices that you need to make. Choices that you need to make. You, you, you need to be clear on something here. You need to change the way you're looking at something here. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. Yeah, you really need to put some things to an end here so you can receive your justice. So you can receive truth, clarity. So action can be taken. Sometimes we block our blessings because we are holding on to something. And when it comes, we don't even know that that's our blessing because we are so blinded by the things that we are holding on to. Leo dealing with an Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you. Jeez. That was forceful. <laughs> the page of pentacles and the world. Something is coming around here. Somebody, you and this person, they may have started communication. They may have started on something stable, something solid, but it never came through. It never came through, and I'm getting that it's now. Now is the time to complete that cycle. It never came through because of something that was holding somebody back. Some addiction here. Something inside that this person had to work on. Some internal issues. Some wounds that they needed to heal. Here they go. They got to break free from, from that trap, that entrapment, and take that leap of faith. Move forward, ready for that brand new beginning. Step forward to that new, new beginning. To that brand new beginning. 
Somebody needs to become stronger within themselves, work on their insecurities. Somebody needs to be in their power here so they can receive the justice that belongs to them. I'm also getting that if there's a court case here, you need to stand in your power to complete this cycle, whatever that cycle is. Whatever your heart desires, is, whatever it is that you want to move on to because you're looking forward to moving to something better, greater than what you have now. But you got to stand in your power. What's the outcome for these Leos versus these Aquarius? Yeah. You want something here, something of the heart. You're looking for balance. You're looking for love. Well, you're going to get it. You're getting that second chance. You're getting that happy home, that happy life, that balance that you're seeking. That balance that you're seeking. You got to drop that burden before you can release that 555. You got to make those changes. You got to make those changes. Right now, you're blocking off your heart. But if you're blocking off your heart, you cannot give this love or you cannot receive this love. So again, you got to stand in your power. And this is the outcome. So yes, you are. Yes, you're going to stand in your power. Yes, you're going to maintain control. Yes, things are going to change. Especially with that court situation. For those of you going through a court situation. Leo's dealing with a Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Leo's dealing with a Pisces. The wheel, there's a chain. Somebody's coming around to you. Somebody's bringing their heart in their hand and their eggplant also coming right along. Everything is coming along. <laughs> Everything's coming along. Somebody's dropping that burden from their heart. Somebody's releasing themselves from that barrier that they enclose themselves in. Blocking off their heart. This person is ready for something new. This person's passion and desire is driving them towards you. Oh, come on. You have the four of swords in the reverse. This person is like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I've gone through the healing. I don't need to heal anymore. I've gone through everything. So they know. They were burnt out. They were stressed. They were struggling. They were struggling, stressed. Because they had their heart blocked off. But they're opening up their heart right now. And they're gaining mental clarity also. They're gaining mental clarity also. Yes, boys. There you go. They're taking that leap of faith. They're moving towards you. Some of you here, some there was somebody here who was um I'm getting yeah, I, I'm getting addicted to sex here. And also there was somebody that they had that they didn't want to let go off of. But this person is now moving forward. This person is in total control of themselves, of their emotion, what it is that they want. Total control. Total control. Somebody may be a mom here, a baby mom. But they're in total control. Wow. The four of ones. That's union. You guys are going to have peace here, Leo, who is dealing with a Pisces or Pisces dealing with a Leo. That change is coming in that's going to offer you peace. 54, 54. Oh, God. You are amazing. That peace is coming in that's going to offer you eternal love. Leo's. This has been your message and it has been beautiful. This is wonderful. Please hit that subscription button. Then you hit that bell and then you select all. 
and please make sure that you have your notifications turned on on your YouTube app on your cell phone so you'll be able to receive my videos whenever I upload because if it's not turned on you're not gonna get those notifications okay guys I love you all take care of yourself and I'll talk to you another time let go and let God see you at the general readings later